Hi everyone, this is just a little uh, introduction, um, just to sort of, just to tell you what this channel's about um, and what I'm going to be doing on it. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a little bit of a chest infection. Don't worry, not COVID. Just a little bit of a chest infection, uh, so I've got a bit of a cough. Um, yeah, so in a nutshell, there's not much sort of in the lines of showing what's going on in the UK. Um, so I've set this channel up just to float about to retro gaming stores, retro bars, um, and doing full reviews. Um, hopefully, with the retro bars and thing, I can get a member of management just to do a little interview of how we started it and things like that. If not, it doesn't really matter. I don't really need to speak to anybody on that. I can just show you what they've got there. Um, there's a pucker one in Hackney Wick. I'm going to go and be filming in there uh, next week. It's, it's the one I go to the most, just literally because it's the closest to me. Um, there is a whole heap of places that we can go to. So it's, yeah, there's a lot of content going to be going on. Um, retro shops. Uh, we're not talking about CEX. Um, we're going to be talking. Like we're talking about the independent retro gaming stores. Um, I've got a friend who runs one in Romford, and there's also another another one I go to um, in Leon C. Um, so I know the fella in there. That's where I'm going to start from, uh, and then I'm going to build up on that. There's a place called Crazy Farms. There's, there's loads of little places that I'm going to be going to, um, and we're going to be interviewing these people um, so you can get to know. Them. Um, and whereabouts it is. I'm also going to find, I'm going to be doing silly things like how uh, how easy it is to park. Honestly, just things like that, especially the one in London. I mean, you're not, I might not even bother trying to park up there, which I'm just going to sort of see what there is up there and and let you guys know of the best way of getting there because I think it's in the middle of nowhere as well. I think you have to get off the train and get a bus. <laughs> I think, but that's all going to be in the videos. Anyway, and also, uh, as you know, the, the, the like the last video, the um, bit that came first uh, to this video, it's more pickups, what I pick up here and there. Um, yeah, so there's not much else to talk about that part. It's just the pickups and where I picked it up from and how much it was and what the quality is and things like that. Um, I probably won't touch on that too much because that's not really, I didn't want to do too much of that. Um, I might do the odd game review as well, as you know, if I pick up any sort of hack from AliExpress. Um, but there's, I mean, Wicked Gamer and Collector sort of covers all them. So I didn't really want to do too much of that. Um, also, arcade one up stuff. In the UK, we hardly get or we hardly got anything. Do you know what I mean? And we were, sat, we were sitting back watching the Americans just completely smash all the modding out of the park. But finally, people are starting to do bits and you can pick stuff up so I'll be doing videos on on that also I'm going to be building a um, so I decided I'm not going to buy the Mortal Kombat cap there's no point I, I like the fact that you can put um, the CRT look on the, the retro pie you haven't got that option with arcade one up I might buy it by the turtles cap because I'm not sure if that matters um, but I'm going to build a Mortal Kombat one so I'm going to get an old because uh, these are popping up for a couple of hundred quid now, so I'm going to get an old one of these. Some of them are a little bit bad. It doesn't matter. I'm going to reskin it. I'm going to be re. I'm going to be putting um, a new vinyl on it because I want to turn it into an old Mortal Kombat cap. Um, as great as that artwork, look, artwork looks on the uh, one up, it wasn't the it wasn't the machine that done it for me. I remember being really young, going into uh, a place where I lived called City Limits. It used to be called Roller Bowl back then. I walked in there and they had this ultimate Mortal Kombat machine and I was I was absolutely blown away by it. So I kind of want to re replicate that if you like, just so I get that little nostalgic feeling. And I will be doing a video on that. I wasn't going to do too many builds, things like that, but I will be doing a video on that because, um, again, I'm not sure if anybody, there is people uh, have done it because, I, because the guy who does the 3D printing, um, who I'm quite close to talk to, um, he does, he builds cabs as well. I'll be going to review his Pac-Man one at some point and what he's done to his Pac-Man. Um, anyway, I'm waffling on a little bit too much, but that's just it. I just wanted to just to give you a, sort of what this channel is all about. As you can tell, it is amateur as anything. Um, that's why I'm getting this blur because I'm literally doing it from my phone at the moment. Um, as the channel builds. And obviously, when it gets to a thousand followers, you start getting offered uh, a little bit of money here and there, which 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna take it because I can obviously buy the equipment to get better filming, get better sound, get better lighting um, and things like that. And I can also go further out because um, I know there's a fantastic uh, retro bar in, in, in Manchester. So I'll be floating up there. Um, but let's build it up. I mean, every time I put a video, get liking it. Subscribe, anybody who wants to subscribe, just get subscribed and let's build this up and get it popping. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, no one's doing it, so let's let's get it going. Nice one, people. And I'll see you on the next. Bitch.